Hey, it's Ocean and welcome back to the channel. You know, I find that we play The Sims 4 way too fast sometimes and I am so big on what I like to call patience playing or patiently playing. Sure, Sims have needs, but there's other ways that we can take care of them and nurture them and our gameplay. And yes, I take my Sims that seriously because I just love them that much. Um, so I wanna give you guys some self-care gameplay tips and see if it'll improve your gameplay and your Sims lives. Before we jump into the video, I'd like to thank our sponsor, HelloFresh. HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit. They make cooking at home super easy, effortless, and most importantly, affordable. Trust me, I know it's very easy to feel overwhelmed by trying something new, but HelloFresh makes it so simple to jump right in the kitchen by including their pre-portioned ingredients and step-by-step -step recipes. It's basically foolproof. One of my biggest goals is to make healthier choices, but I never knew where to start. And this is why I love HelloFresh because they have fit and wholesome recipes that make meal planning so much easier. They actually help you reach your goals without sacrificing flavor. And each HelloFresh recipe goes through vigorous testing done by professional chefs. So you know it'll be delicious. HelloFresh makes it easier to enjoy good food without the fuss of going grocery shopping or figuring out what's for dinner. So if you'd like to check out HelloFresh, go ahead and use my link or go to HelloFresh.com and use the code POGOCEANSIMS16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts across six HelloFresh boxes plus free shipping. So thank you HelloFresh and I hope you all enjoy. Some of you already know these gameplay ideas and tips and do them in your game. So first and foremost, when you're waking your sim up, don't just jump into the day. I mean, sometimes we all just need a self-care day. So let me just show you really quick. It is now Monday, but had we started this video on a Sunday, I would have been able to show you the new holiday that I like to add on my calendar. Now I used to do like a mental health day or, um, you know, just like a self day anyway. I have a holiday calendar video if you wanna check it out. Self-care Sunday, okay? Set up one of these days for your sims to just be off of work and school so that they can pay attention to themselves. This is actually a custom icon, but any icon will do. And so you can bake, clean, garden, go, you know, travel to the spa. I like to add make resolutions on this day because you can have your Sims set a goal. It is not just for New Year's Eve. Have them set a goal. Have them want to write a book, level up in a skill or whatever the case may be and have them uh, make that commitment to themselves on self-care Sunday. So obviously it's not Sunday, but definitely add this to your calendar just so that you can and make a mental note to give your sims this special day. So my sim Hope is waking up and she definitely has worked today at 9 a.m. But the first thing we're gonna do is call out. Do not be afraid to take a vacation day. And honestly, call in fake sick to work if you don't have any vacation days because sometimes you need to do this to like enjoy your sim's life. Sometimes because work gets so hectic, just like real life. I mean, sometimes we gotta do that. Sometimes we have to say, listen boss, I'm not coming in. Brush those teeth. Whether you're brushing teeth or get water, make sure your sim feels confident going into the morning this day. I honestly feel like a lot of people forget to brush their teeth or brush their Sims teeth because it's such a useless interaction. It's one of those interactions where it's like, you know, realistic, but like we forget to do it because it's so meaningless, but they will get a confident mood lit, which has, you know, some boost. So minty fresh, you know, she's feeling good and great. The first thing I do in real life is get coffee, but you want to know something? We need to self-care and make good decisions. So I am going to skip the coffee and actually have tea instead. Now you can still have your sim get some coffee, but I just like to do, you know, a little something. I'm going to get some calming chamomile, just kind of set the tone for the day, which is I just called out of work and I want to relax today. So no one bothers me thank you very much and so she's gonna enjoy some nice tea here and i have her sitting at the table just enjoying and honestly hope is actually a loner sim so this is just her like centering herself and getting her mind right okay now that we had some tea a really good thing to do on self-care sunday and honestly even for the rest of like your gameplay for like a week straight is to make healthy choices and eat healthy all day. So for breakfast, she's gonna have a fruit salad. The great thing is, is that there's so many healthy choices that you can make in The Sims 4. So basically you just wanna make healthy choices all day. So for breakfast, she's gonna have a fruit salad. And if you do this for like a week or so straight, you will actually unlock a super cool lifestyle, which I'm gonna have to actually cheat up because I don't have all that time with you. But I am using testing cheats on to show you you this right now 
All right, so we can add a lifestyle. Lifestyle, unfortunately, comes with the Snowy Escape expansion pack. However, if you eat enough healthy foods, then your sim will gain the Healthy Food Nut lifestyle, which actually unlocks even more healthy meals. So you can actually cook uh, healthy meals. You can like express the benefits of healthy foods to other sims and, and you know, they won't like junk food and stuff. It actually just really personalizes that. So I gave her the healthy lifestyle, which will be shown right here. If I click on the fridge, I have a new option. It says cook healthy meal. So here, instead of scrambled eggs and bacon or whatever, we have egg whites toast whole wheat grilled cheese chickpea mac and cheese whole wheat pancakes that's like my favorite so right now i have her making some low fat chili and that way we'll be covered for lunch and we can just get it out of the fridge and what's good about this is they actually get a mood lit when they eat healthy foods while she is cooking that i like to mention that lighting incense and candles is super key um if you have spa day you'll have the incense so you can light let's do peaceful patchouli now i do have a a custom candle here by Charlie Pancakes. And I love it because it does the same thing by enabling an emotional aura. Uh, the different swatches in the candle actually give off different moodlets, which is really, really nice as well. We also have this incense in here too. I can light it. We might do soothing sage in here or romantic sandalwood on a soothing sage. Let's just light it. So she was already inspired, but by smelling the patchouli incense, it actually gives an inspired moodlet, which is awesome because she was already inspired to begin with. This is so helpful especially in the gameplay if you want your sims to be in a specific mood regardless so hope is done eating her healthy meal and as you can see it says healthy power from health food nut lifestyle healthy nutrient filled food courses through hope's veins and energizing her to burn off extra calories so i don't really care about her losing weight i just wanted her to you know eat healthy or whatever so the next thing we have to kind of get ready for the day skip the shower okay and take a bath if you don't have spa day and you're not able to take a bath with soaks which will actually give you a mood lit then just take a regular bath and call it a day but i feel like sometimes we're opposed to baths because we're like obviously showers are quicker and we always i swear it's not just me but everyone plays so fast and we're just trying to get to the next thing and i totally understand the grind my sim is a neat sim so she has the ability to clean everything she can polish everything to perfection if she likes even the sink even if it's not dirty if you have the busted dust kit which a lot of us may or may not have i kind of tend to forget that we have it you can actually vacuum around and keep your place all nice and tidy so the dust bunnies don't get in the way if you do play with dust bunny gameplay this is a good way to just keep up with your house have a day or so where you just clean so that the dust doesn't accumulate i'll come back to the mundane things in a sec but one thing that's really important is the use of taking a jog do not ever forget that you do not have to always go on a treadmill you can click on your sim and go jogging which you probably already knew this but for some of us <laughs> <laughs> we forget that these features exist what's really nice is you can just go take your sim to the park as well and just jog there too this is all a part of self-care sunday even though it's self-care monday so if you don't mind the loading screen you can definitely take your sim out to you know a nice park and get your sims out the house without feeling like you know you're doing the most um just by visiting a park click on the bike and you can actually go ahead and ride around on the bike and you're just gonna ride around in your vicinity which is kind of cool because as opposed to riding around the same neighborhood you know she can just ride around hope is severely focused she is very focused and this could benefit her greatly in other aspects of gameplay just by simply vacuuming <laughs> which is kind of strange but hey you know go for it but yeah so you could ride your bike you could also again do the jogging interaction here too we can also bask in the light rays which your sim is just kind of gonna walk around and just see she's like ha huh. This is lovely. I love life. It's amazing. And here it says praise by the sun, the light. It's so beautiful. I love extra moodlets with gameplay. And since we are at the park, something that's nice to know is that we can actually, you know, do yoga here if we wanted to. Say I want her to do yoga right here. Doing things like yoga, meditating and all that stuff. Obviously going to the spa is going to be like your number one go-to for self-care. Truthfully, I know it. But it's cool to just be able to do things outside of those lots so because you can't place objects here uh, what you can do is just hit place in world and i mean some of you probably already know that and she can just boom go ahead and do a yoga routine by the water 
so zen, <laughs> like it doesn't get much better than this. She went ahead and did some yoga at the park. She could totally go to the beach as well. One thing I want to tell you is that pictures are very important in my gameplay. So I'm gonna take a camera and this tripod, this tripod actually comes with the Moschino stuff pack. It is so incredibly useful and, and like literally needs to be base game to be 100% honest with you and I will show you why. So we are at the beach and I went ahead and invited Miriam with us also who is trailing behind. And the reason why is because self care is also kind of about hanging out with people that maybe you haven't seen in a while and you wanna make sure that your friendships and stuff with your Sims that you're kind of close to are kind of maintained and life gets crazy in the Sims and so it's hard to do that sometimes. So take this day to also just kind of like have a one-on-one -on -one day with someone but the reason why we're bringing the tripod is because it it is so useful this is your opportunity to go ahead and take advantage of the fact that you can spend the day taking pictures with your loved ones whether it's your sims kids or just whatever because you know sometimes it's hard to fill up the walls when you don't have time so we're going to take a picture with miriam so we have a legit picture now you could also go do it this way entertainment and take a selfie or take a photo with but i don't like that because there's not a lot of poses as there are with the moschino stuff pack tripod and you see why i love the tripod so there's different emotions that come with it excited and we can just kind of like you know do this you can swivel the camera around so i can get a little bit of the water in there this is just a really nice way to just you know make memories and designate that time to make them now that we hung out with our friend i think it's important to reel it back in you know on what to do just for your sims for their self so let's talk about it the sims for dine out i think a lot of us normally go out to eat with other sims like as you can see here this sim is with her kid and other sims are like well i think she's by herself or no maybe she's with him i don't know but i never eat out like alone I, it's like kind of embarrassing right but for a loner sim like hope this is fine you know so instead of cooking for the night you could possibly just go out to eat alone with your sim yeah it may seem kind of boring at first but it's still kind of cool just mentally making a mental note like you know what my sim went out to eat all by themselves today and enjoy themselves instead of cooking for dinner your sim can just go out to dinner and if they're alone it's cool but it's still self-care it's like you know no one to talk to you and maybe you'll finally just draw on the placemat you know this is something that i don't use unless i have kids with me the unfortunate part about this is that food takes forever so really do this if you're storytelling if you have a sim like hope who was indeed a loner I am a huge advocate on patiently playing and so I'd actually sit here and just watch her do this, watch and wait for the food to come out, but we don't really have that much time, so you get the gist. So it is now the evening time and ooh, look at this pretty plant. Let's go ahead and harvest this because one other thing that is very important is gardening. Yes, gardening is a part of self-care. It's very relaxing and we all know it. Definitely take the time to plant something new or just simply take care of your garden rearrange it if you have like a bunch of plants here i wish i would have did that to begin with just kind of like decorate your garden like say your sim just got paid and you want to add like you know a bird feeder here like you could do that this garden obviously is a little empty but you get the gist just take the time to decorate your garden if you didn't have that time before just so that you can you know kind of make it feel alive so hope already has baking level 10 but if you didn't this would be a good time to practice those skills late at night um she can actually make some bagels for the morning i may have her do that like a whole week loaf yeah let's do that but um you could bake something sweet some sugar cookies you know to go with the movie that we're gonna watch later yes we're gonna watch a movie but we're gonna make a whole wheat loaf just so that we have it tomorrow whole wheat is good i can't have her do some cookies and stuff because she's on this like healthy kick so she's gonna make a loaf for tomorrow morning so that she has a nice little whole wheat you know bread toast or whatever to eat tomorrow but if she could she'd have some nice little treats and she would use that to watch a movie. And your Sims do not always have to watch a movie with someone. They can literally just watch a movie, you know, by themselves. And this is something that I'm telling myself too, because a lot of the times, a lot of the interactions and stuff I do, because my Sims are always around people. You guys know my Sims always get the people person lifestyle that um, it's good to just be able to do things by yourself 
And for loner sims, shout out to you. I swear it feels so empty in this house, but consciously making these decisions, especially when you start off playing with one sim can make your gameplay feel a little bit more fun because we all know that it's it's just not really that fun when you're only playing by yourself. You eventually need friends, you eventually need family and everything like that, or not need, but it's just nice, you know, or a pet at least. It's This gets lonely. We're actually gonna turn off this bright light because it's way too bright and I like these two on. We are going to then, turning on music is so, so helpful. I'm gonna turn on the Focus uh, radio station and then have her actually go and practice some writing. Obviously, Sims are gonna build other skills naturally, but this is kind of like more like with an intent, slowly building a skill with some purpose. Here she is, she's listening to it, enjoying the music while she's writing. It is now one in the morning and that's not really uh, self-care, but self-care Sunday or Monday. <laughs> ended so what i want to do before we close out is hang up the pictures that we took with our friend we did so much take care of our sims spend time take care of things around the house work towards some skills take photos with our loved ones to kind of fill up these walls a little bit we cleaned we worked towards a lifestyle which i cheated up because you know um but now we can go to sleep Poor Hope is worn out from today and today was supposed to be a self-care day. <laughs> Obviously, you can go to a spa, you can go to the gym and do other things. Um, the same interactions we did, but just in different places. But this is just for like, if you're at home, it's just nice to know how to spend the day with your solo sim and take care of them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Drop your self-care gameplay tips down below. And if you enjoyed this, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Just keep it simming. Always, always, always stay wavy. And I will see you in the next video. All right, peace out.